Yes, sir. Marker. <laughs> Take 70. Stop playing. It looks Wait, like go, yeah, just roll it. What's good? I'm Josh Reed here interviewing New Jersey rapper, videographer, vlogger, Eric Elstrom. And you know, it's such a pleasure to be here with you today, man. I'm ready to get some questions off so you guys can learn a little bit more about Eric. Like it or not, I'm a prodigy in the crooked game of Monopoly. The game of life, what's the sacrifice? Another empty bottle of tequila, wine bottles charging the visa. I wish I grew up and still looked at you like the Mona Lisa. Sometimes I get too angry, give you the truth. Sometimes I don't even pick up the pen in the booth. No sweat running down my- Tell me a little bit about your influences and what kind of got you into the arts in the first place. Uh, how I got involved with the arts, I, uh... Since I was little, I've listened to Eminem. Um, I've always related to his story, his upbringing, uh, family troubles, mother troubles, money, eviction, and everything. And I looked at him and was like, this guy is one of the biggest artists on the planet ever. So I thought, why not one more person doing it? And uh, here we are. So obviously you're inspired by him, you know, understandably so, he's a great artist. What are some of your other inspirations that, you know, musically, that have really got you to this point? I'm a fan of lyrics, so pretty much anyone in, I guess, in that era. Nas, Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Big L, Biggie, uh, Guru from Gangstar. All of them are top tier lyricists. So you've recorded a lot of music so far, right, Eric? What is some of the most impactful music that you've recorded thus far? My project, Logophobia, the sequel, uh, is definitely the most important project. Definitely sounds the best and everything. Bet. It's just like, I guess, an open book of what I've been through, how I feel about whatever's going on in that time period. Um, favorite or most impactful song, most important song, I'd say is Demons, track two in the project. Got gotcha. you. Uh, there's also a really good video with that as well. So what really led to the inception of Elfstrom Media? Elfstrom Media started with my first video shoot. I reached out to a good friend that had a camera and I wanted him to shoot the behind the scenes. And he backed out the day before and I was pretty much beat for it. I got someone last minute, but I was like, you know, I don't want to rely on anyone for anything. So I bought a camera. I had no idea what to do with the camera, how to use it, whatever. And uh, looked up YouTube tutorials and figured it out. Reached out to a few friends to do photo shoots or promotional videos or music videos. And then uh, people started reaching out more and more. And Owning the means of production is really important, bro. It just helps you get stuff done, so that makes a lot of sense. For sure. So going off that, right, vlog series. It's been a lot of fun, right? What got that started? The vlog started with me seeing or watching other YouTubers that have vlogs and I thought they're either boring or corny or pretty funny and I thought, you know, my friends and I, I think are funny, uh, do cool things and I think people would like it. So I just started bringing my camera out everywhere and really it's just what we do, nothing's planned. So it's just what we do in our free time and put it together in a video, put it out for people to see, and that's what you get. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun, man. So as far as you know, specific episodes, anything that your audience that's kind of unfamiliar with you should be put onto? Episode four, which is the latest one, is okay. very good. I like episode one a lot too because it really painted the picture of all of us as a, I guess, a group or just as friends. Got you. Um, you know, you kind of like adapt to like the characters, I guess, in a way, because it's mostly the same people in every episode. So definitely episode one and episode four are the best, but you're just going to keep going. Got you. Well, keep a lookout for Eric Elson's fifth vlog. Um, so let's, let's move on, right? So what's next for you as a creative? New album more music videos i want to have a short film with the album the new album's called time more definitely more vlogs because we're always doing shit 
around here, moving somewhere else. Uh, definitely more merch, merch for the vlogs as well. And that's it, just building a, an audience to keep it going. All right, man. Well, I hope you guys got a little bit of a look into Eric Elstrom, but before we go, we got a speed round. So, favorite drink, alcoholic and non-alcoholic? Alcoholic Jack Daniels, non-alcoholic brisk iced tea. Favorite bar? I'm not a big bar guy, but Rory's and Seabright. Italian food or Mexican food? Oh, shit. Italian. Beach or the mountains? Beach. Okay. And last but not least, if someone takes anything from this interview, what should it be? Make your own lane. Don't follow anyone else. Whatever you want to do, keep looking straight ahead. Fuck everyone else that's around. The negative bullshit. People are always going to try to spit on you, kick you when you're down. Just keep fucking going. Fuck them. I feel that, bro. It's been a pleasure. Yiddy. All right. Look at that. All right, let's go. What's so? I don't have my headphones on. I mean, my phone, <laughs> whatever they're called. Uh, <laughs> here interviewing Eric Elstrom, New Jersey. Fuck. <laughs> Take two. All right, so now we're on to the speed round, right? Here's the first question. First your glasses. favorite, dude. You just gotta roll with it. You just uh, okay, I need a second for this speed round shit. That was good. Yeah, you gotta good. start looking like you give a fuck. Yeah, no, you're a lot more no. relaxed. Yeah, yeah. You are, but but you're be more relaxed. confident in your I'm not too relaxed. No, no. Fuck it. No, your, go get the merch. <laughs>